Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Henbeck Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be different than the norm. I'm actually getting ready to go for a walk on the trail near my house. We have an old railroad bed that is now a walking trail or biking trail. Sometimes I bike, but anyway, I'm getting ready to go for a walk and I thought I would do a little bit of video editing while I was walking. And so here we go. I am going to share with you some vacation footage from our vacation last month to Big Sky, Montana. We did, I think it was three things that I haven't shared with you yet. And I figured if you're going to ever go to a vacation in Montana, you might want to know about these things. So I did take video when we went zip lining up at the Big Sky Resort, when we went up the lift to the top and got to see the panoramic view of the whole area. And I also took footage of whitewater rafting and I think that was on the Gallatin River. And I took footage of Norris Hot Springs, which we rented out for our family and had a private party. So I have footage of all those things. I'm not sure what order I'm going to put them in, but I thought I would share them with you. And I'm just gonna let the footage roll. Of course, I'll edit it for you so it's not too much or not too little. We're gonna do it just right. And that way, if you're considering a vacation to the area or if you just like to see beautiful scenery, you have something fun to see on this Thursday or Friday or over the weekend or whenever you get to this. So let's roll that footage now. We are in Big Sky, Montana, and we are just getting ready to do the adventure zip line. And we are at base camp. That's what this place looks like. If you look over there, we've got mountains in all directions. It's beautiful. We're heading up the mountain. We're gonna do a little bit of zip lining. This is the nature hike part of the tour. I'll give you guys just a couple fun facts, you know? So we've got Beehive Basin over there. It's that bowl shape with the little snow dots there. Um, you can hike it. It's a beautiful hike. Lots of wildflowers right now. You can ski there all year round. Um, it's a four mile hike up with your skis and then you can do a quarter mile however many times you want and you gotta walk back down with your skis. A little too adventurous for my taste but some people really enjoy it. Um, then we've got the little two pokey guys right above the houses. Do you guys see that? Little yeah. two pokey parts of that mountain. Yeah. Those are called the bat ears. Um, legend says Batman still lives there to this day. <laughs> and then to the right of those bat ears is the, just the top of Gallatin Peak. Just poking over the mountains there. Um, and if you go all the way over to the Summit Hotel, above it is Mount Wilson. It's got that shark fin with that line going through it. Named after President Wilson, it, its elevation is 10,705 feet. A um, little fun fact about Summit Hotel is that it's the tallest building in Miss Madison County. Um, we have a law in Montana that says you can't build anything that obstructs views of mountains. We are going on this little nature hike up to where we will be ziplining from. And we're with another lovely family who have granted me permission to put them in my videos as well as two guides who have granted permission. And we are meandering through the woods. It is absolutely stunning here and there's a little river running over there just super picturesque okay here we go you ready all right, We're about it. We're Hold off. All right next person Jesus. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. so we made it over the second part of the zip line before it started lightning too close but the other family that was with us got stuck over there. So we are rushing down the mountain in the rain because it is lightning and thundering and oh my, it's crazy. It's really rainy. Oh, God. Oh, 
getting ready to head into the West Yellowstone Museum. This sign is because this was the end of the railroad. Here is an old timey stagecoach and it says 15,000 miles by stage. Anyhow, I'm not going to read all that, but it's a pretty cool deal. There's my little nephew. This is Sadie's younger brother. We're driving into town in West Yellowstone. There were a bunch of like buffaloes similar to this that had really cool artwork on them. I think they're really so neat. There is old Snaggletooth. They don't want us to touch him, but this is a grizzly bear that's legendary. I have a plaid shirt to put on later, but my outfit of the day is this green Zeger top. I think this might be the first time I've worn the green one. I have two green ones, but one is emerald, and then the other one is this army green, which I think goes really nicely with my multi pochette accessoire and the khaki strap. And then I have it paired with some Hey Dude Polly's. These offer a little more support than the Wendy's and they're also somewhat waterproof and they have like a, a leather-like exterior. I don't know if it's real leather or not, but they're great. So that's the outfit of the day. When we were in Boston, there was a really cool quilt museum and this is a really neat Yellowstone quilt. I like all the patches with the the nature in them. I think they're really cool. A cool firefighter uniform. It says circa 1980s. It looks a lot older than that. It's funny that that's considered historic now. Some coconut flavored potato chapstick. And then also some balm. And I'm not sure what it's made of, but I did see coconut oil in there and this is from the gift shop. So here. we did not do a very good job of taking advantage of all the history but we do have young children with us so that's part of it but it is a really cool building and here in West Yellowstone it was the end of the railroad because it's where they decided to start the national park system. So at this bear and grizzly park or this grizzly and wolf park that is the bears that are here and the the wolves they couldn't survive on their own and so here is one out on her own exploring she's got something funky going on with her booty it is cool though we can see them but yet be protected by this big drop off right there in between us and them so i'm not sure what that one there's name is the black one but there are two more. There's one that we can see whose head just popped up out of the water, splashing around. Here are a couple of wolves out to play, a white one and a gray one. They look like big puppy dogs to me. I think they may be heading out of here going back into their, their rooms, but I don't know. There's the one right there. This bear's taking the tree down. Getting some lunch time in. and Seeley. They are female grizzly bears and they were born in 2019 and pretty much all the bears here got used to eating human food and therefore if they weren't able to be relocated and kind of conditioned away from eating human food and staying away from people they ended up here. Most of the grizzly bears that get addicted to the human food, they end up having to be euthanized. But there are a few lucky ones that end up here. I think they said that they have six or eight here total, but they're actually expanding so that they will be able to have 
double the capacity. The bears within this enclosure, they get to come out for like an hour and then they're encouraged to go back in. I just counted and I think there are actually seven bears. There's the two sisters. They get to come out here and play and the keepers, they actually carry these trees out and stick them in the ground. So the trees are dead, they cut them and then they stick them in the ground. And the bears will knock them over sometimes. Like sometimes a bear will knock three trees over and the keepers come back out in between when these bears are out and when the next batch of bears come out and re-stick the trees in the ground. They also hide things in the ground like bones and other treats. And one time they hit a bone up in a tree which has led one of these gals to want to take trees down in the hopes of finding another tasty elk bone with maybe a bit of meat on it. There are a couple of wolves that are laying down and the howling you hear is from the kids here in this little building that I'm in. But these two are just chilling out in the meadow. About a week ago, I would have said she's our largest female, but I guess Celie just got a little heavier than her. But Akita is the biggest shaped female. So being from the interior of Alaska, they have pretty lanky body shapes. They're not going to be as big or as heavy as grizzlies from the coast of Alaska. That's kind of a different uh, whole food supply there, and so they've been able to support way larger body sizes. But in the interior of Alaska, they're a little lankier, but overall very close in weight to what we'd see here in Montana. Now, Nakina is 25 years old. She has been here since 1998. Like the other five grizzlies that live here, she's here because she was removed from the wild due to conflict with people, conflict over food. So um, again, like I was just talking about, as we're out recreating, camping, hanging out in a vacation rental, um, usually bears, again, are not just kind of gonna randomly want to encounter us. The biggest reason they do kind of overcome that fear of people is when they're getting a really good source of food. And so usually it's things that we've left out while we're not around, like garbage, pet food, bird feeders, um, things you leave in your tent while you go out on a hike for the day, everything that has a scent to it. There's a very specific reason they stay in Yellowstone as you're camping, even in the front country areas, the only thing you should have in your tent is a flashlight and bear spray. Not the clothes you cooked in, not a water bottle, not a toothbrush, because again, any of that can have a scent to it. We are at a restaurant called The Branch in West Yellowstone, and this is a very cool train. It is the Oregon Short Line historic train and it's preserved they even have the dining car still set up inside it's pretty cool driving through yellowstone national Hello, park right Hello. now at sunset in the valley so here is today's outfit of the day at least for a while i have on my multi pochette accessoire with a khaki strap, AKA green. And then I just have a variety of greens in my outfit with the camo top by Z Supply. And I don't remember what brand this top is or the bottoms off the top of my head, but some distressed denim. Sorry, the room is a little bit messy in the background. I did my best to sort of pick it up, but my hubby's staying with me and he's not exactly the neatest person in the whole wide world. And I, and I suppose I'm not either when I don't have the right amount of hangers, et cetera, et cetera. But let me show you some of my other vacation bags real so quick. So I have two of these Longchamp Le Pliage large shoulder totes, and they're both from the Neo line. This is in the taupe color. The Neo line has been discontinued. The canvas is slightly thicker, which I like. And then also there's no snap on the back, so you can't fold them quite the same way as most of the Le Pliage totes. But I've been bringing this with me most of every day because it is just handy to throw everything I might need in. And then if I get in a situation where it's raining or something like that, and I wanna protect my handbag, of course my handbag fits in there too. Right now I just have some napkins in there. They're clean, they're just kind of crumpled up and a visor and a cap. So that depending on how I'm wearing my hair, I can protect my face. Then I also have this backpack and I'll be bringing this with me today. Most likely we're going to Norris Hot Springs. And so I wanna protect my other two bags, my Prada bag and my Louis Vuitton bag. This is a great bag to use if you're worried that you might get a little bit of weather exposure because it's this nylon and I have treated it with either Colonel Carbon Pro or Apple Guard. 
but I love this little bag. I have an insert inside by Samorga. I got it a long time ago. I also have an insert inside of the larger tote by Samorga as well. So I'll probably end up bringing these two, but I might bring my multi pochette and this today. We're going to Norris Hot Springs. We have the whole place rented out for five hours, which is super exciting. We're gonna hang out there, we're gonna eat, and we're gonna get hot springs warmth in us. It's a little bit chilly outside. I have some spots on my window, but you can see it's kind of overcast out there, so it's a little bit cool. We're headed to Ram Charger 8. Apparently, each one of the chairlifts cost $80,000. Gonna head up here in just a second. Here it comes. So these chairlifts, each one of them cost $80,000. We're sitting on an $80,000 chairlift. And those bike ones are custom and they cost more than $80,000. Guys, everybody look over here. So this is the view up at the top of one of the lifts by the radio tower in Big Sky, Montana. It is absolutely fabulous. So we are at Norris Hot Springs. It is absolutely beautiful here. I love the flowers and the little, I don't know if that's a greenhouse or what that is, but this was built by miners a long time ago and you can see the wood planks inside to sit on and rest on and we're here the day after they cleaned it all out so it's nice and fresh for us. I'm hoping we don't get rained out here. There is so many pretty flowers. I hope you enjoyed all of that. Sorry, my camera is like going like this because I just touched it. Don't mean to make you feel a little sick to your stomach, but hope you enjoyed that. We had a ton of fun on this vacation and these activities were a large part of the fun we had. We also got to go to Yellowstone one day and we had a private bus that we hired. And my tour guide told me that we were not allowed to share footage for monetary gain unless we bought a permit. So I'm going to put that footage in a separate little non-monetized video at some point because there were some beautiful things we saw at Yellowstone itself. But these activities were all fair game for a YouTube video, so I definitely wanted to show you what we did. And I wanna make sure if you did like this video to please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye. <music>